Namaskar and welcome to Current Affairs by Sarvika. In this video, you will get to know first international cruise liner launched in Mumbai, Indian cities in prestigious UNESCO Creative Cities Network, the first female chief of the US Navy, world's first AI safety summit 2023, Adel Give Hurun India Philanthropy List 2023, Ballon d'Or or award winners and much more so stay tuned current affairs 28 october to 3rd november 2023 national king of bhutan jigme khesa namgyal wangchuk arrived in guwahati on an eight day official visit to india during his visit the king of bhutan will meet prime minister narendra modi he will also visit Assam and Maharashtra. The external affairs minister and senior officials of the central government will also call on the king of Bhutan. Do you know the national language of Bhutan is Jongkha. Paro Airport is the only international airport in Bhutan. The currency of Bhutan is Nagultrum whose value is fixed in Indian rupees. Gangkhar Puensum is the highest mountain in Bhutan and the highest mountain in the world, which is yet to be climbed. The height of the mountain is 7,570 meters, that is 24,836 feet. Its name in Jongkha means the white peak of three spiritual brothers. Gangkhar Puensum is located on the border between Bhutan and Tibet. You can see the national flag of Bhutan in this picture. <coughs> the Indian Air Force officially said goodbye to the number 4 squadron of MiG-21 Bison fighter jets on 31st October. The MiG-21 Bison fighter jet flew for the last time over Uttarlai town in Barmer, Rajasthan and will now be replaced by an LCA Mark 1A fighter jet. The MiG-21s have been in service for more than 60 years and have suffered several accidents in the past. Do you know the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor aircraft, is designed by the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. It has been nicknamed as Balalaika because its planned form resembles the musical instrument of the same name. NATO has codenamed the MiG-21 as Fish Bed. The Navy's long-range maritime patrol aircraft, Illusion 38 Sea Dragon, was decommissioned on Tuesday after 46 years of glorious service. The decommissioning ceremony was held at INS Hansa in Dabulim, Goa. With its unique capabilities, amazing skills, and expanded reach covering the vast Indian Ocean region, the IL-38SD has proven itself to be a formidable force multiplier over the years. The second, Toku Emang Bird Count. TEBC in collaboration with Wokha Forest Division and Divisional Management Unit Nagaland Nagaland Forest Management Project and Bird Count India will take place from November 4 to 7. Toku Emang is the harvest festival of the Lotha community. Toku refers to feast in the Lotha language while Emang means rest or pause. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the second World Food India at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi. The Prime Minister said that this year, the International Year of Millets is being celebrated and India has accorded the status of Sri Anna to millets. He said that millets are a major component of India's superfood bucket and will soon be accepted all over the world. 
यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ फॉर पोर्ट्स शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज सर्बानंद सोनोवाल विल लॉन्च द डोमेस्टिक ऑपरेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल क्रूज लाइनर कोस्टा सेरेना इन मुंबई ड्यूरिंग द रिसेंट ग्लोबल मैरी टाइम कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑर्गेनाइज बाई द मिनिस्ट्री डिस्कशन वेर हेल्ड ऑन अचीविंग द टारगेट ऑफ फिफ्टी मिलियन क्रूज पैसेंजर्स इन इंडिया बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पीपल आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू ट्रेवल बाई सी रूट इन द नेक्स्ट टू मंथ थ्रू कोस्टा क्रूजेज Minister of State for External Affairs V Murli Dharan met Mauritius President Prithvi Raj Singh Rupun in Port Louis. He also visited the Ayurvedic Garden developed at Rashtrapati Bhavan in collaboration with the Ministry of Ayush. Mr Murli Dharan along with the deputy prime minister and foreign minister of mauritius inaugurated the india mauritius shopping carnival fest festival in port louis it has been organized as part of the 75th anniversary of india mauritius diplomatic relations do you know mauritius is the only country in africa where hinduism is the most practiced religion Mauritius consists of the main islands Mauritius and Rodrigues, Agalega and Saint Brandon. The capital of Mauritius is Port Louis and the currency is Mauritian rupee. For the first time Brew refugees will not participate in elections in Mizoram as they have been permanently settled in Tripura under the central government sponsored rehabilitation arrangement which came into effect in January 2020 earlier the election commission of india was to set up special polling stations along the tripura mizoram border to facilitate voting of eligible voters Assembly elections in Mizoram are scheduled to be held on November 7. Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in an event to mark the conclusion of the Amrit Kalash Yatra of the Meri Mati Mera Desh campaign. At the event, the Prime Minister inaugurated Amrit Vatika and Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Smarak, stressing the importance of the Amrit Mahotsav Memorial in preserving historical moments for future generations. Additionally, he launched the Mera Yuva Bharat portal. The sudden death of several birds at the Gudavi Bird Sanctuary in Karnataka has left forest department officials worried. Over a period of 7 days more than 30 birds including spoonbills, herons and black-headed ibis were found dead. The cause of the sudden death of the birds in the sanctuary is not clear and analysis of the sample collected is underway. Do you know Vedan Thangal Bird Sanctuary is the oldest bird sanctuary in India Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary also known as Kevla Dev National Park is the largest bird sanctuary in India Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Bangladeshi counterpart Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday jointly inaugurated three Indian assisted development projects through video conferencing. The three projects are Akhora Agartala cross border rail link, Khulna Mongla port rail line and unit 2 of Maitri super thermal power plant in Bangladesh. Minister of State for External Affairs Minakshi Lekhi will be on a 6 day visit to Paraguay and Ecuador. She will participate in bilateral meetings in both countries there. Ms Lekhi will exchange views with members of the Indian community in these countries and participate in cultural programs. Do you know Paraguay is a landlocked country in South America. It is bordered by Argentina to the south and southwest, Brazil to the east and northeast and Bolivia to the northwest. The capital of Paraguay is 
Asuncion, which is located on the banks of the Paraguay River. On, on 15th August 2023, Santiago Pena was sworn in as the new president of Paraguay. The flag of Paraguay is unusual because the obverse and reverse sides are different. The obverse of the flag shows the national coat and the reverse depicts the seal of the treasure. Do you know? Ecuador is a country in northwestern South America bordered by Colombia to the north, Peru to the east and south, and the Pacific Ocean to the west. Ecuador also includes the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific about 1000 kilometers west of the mainland. The capital of the country is Quito. Art and Culture Cozy Code and Gwalior have been included in the prestigious UNESCO Creative Cities Network. Cozy Code has been designated as the city of literature and Gwalior as the city of music by UNESCO. India now has seven cities in the prestigious UCCN list. Indian cities already on the UCCN list include Srinagar 2021 for crafts and folk arts, Mumbai 2019 for film, Hyderabad 2019 for gastronomy, Chennai 2017 for music, Jaipur 2015 for crafts and folk arts and Varanasi 2015 for music. India-born author Nandini Das has been named the winner of the 2023 British Academy Book Prize for Global Cultural Understanding for her book, Courting India, England, Mughal India and the Origins of Empire. The British Academy Book Award, formerly known as the Naif Al Rodan Award, was established in 2013 to reward and celebrate the best works of non-fiction that demonstrate originality and contribute to the public understanding of other world cultures. International the Philippines has announced its withdrawal from China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. According to the Asia Times report, the Philippines government has terminated all BRI projects and decided to hand over the work related to the project to Japan and Western countries. The Philippines Senate has said that every investment by China is under suspicion for economic and political reasons. The U.S. Senate on Thursday approved the nomination of Admiral Lisa Francetti to lead the Navy, making her the first woman to hold the post and serve on the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The flagship vessel of the Peruvian Navy, BAP Union, arrived at the port of Mumbai on November 1st to celebrate the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between India and Peru. The visit is an important milestone in the relationship between the two countries. The Colombian government said on Thursday it would try to control the population of more than 100 hippopotamuses brought into the country illegally by drug lord Pablo Escobar in the 1980s through surgical sterilization, relocation of hippos to other countries and possibly euthanasia. Hippos, which have spread from Escobar's property to nearby rivers, have been declared an invasive species that could be harmful to the ecosystem. Officials estimate there are 169 hippos in Colombia, particularly in the Magdalena River Basin, and if no measures are taken, there could be 1,000 by 2035. Science and Technology 
India has signed the world's first artificial intelligence security agreement with 27 other countries and the European Union at a meeting in the UK. In this agreement, it has been resolved that the assessment of risks related to artificial intelligence will be done together. The two-day AI Safety Summit 2023 began at Britain's World War II war two code breaking center at bletchley park the uk government said in a release that the agreement will be known as the bletchley declaration the small asteroid visited by nasa's lucy spacecraft this week was a big surprise for scientists it turns out that the asteroid dinkinesh also has a natural satellite a mini moon the discovery was made during Wednesday's flyby of Dinkinesh, 300 million miles away in the main asteroid belt beyond Mars. Two Chinese icebreaker research ships, Zuelong 1 and 2, and a cargo ship Tianhui left for the Antarctic on Wednesday to help complete the construction of China's fifth station on the world's southernmost continent market and economy hcl technologies founder chairman shiv nader has emerged as india's most generous businessman donating rupees 2042 crore in the last financial year as per the edel give Harun india philanthropy list 2023 with a donation of rupees 170 crore rohini nilkani is the only woman to make it to the top 10 of the list sports south africa has won the men's rugby world cup by defeating new zealand the world cup trophy is named after the game's inventor william webb ellis the tournament was held in france Argentina captain Lionel Messi won a record 8th Ballon d'Or award for football's best player in the world on Monday. Spain's Women's World Cup winner and Barcelona's midfielder Etana Bonmati won the Women's Ballon d'Or award. Thank you. So if you like the video, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, kindly subscribe. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you so much.